Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Minnis and today I'll be demonstrating my MATLAB project for engineering programming at OIT with Dr. Mateo Oboy. So first, let's go ahead and pull up the uh, help for the function I wrote. So help, projectile motion, uh, helps if you spell it right, so help, projectile motion, no, still can't get it right. There we go. Projectile motion calculates and plots the trajectory of a projectile given the parameters x naught, y naught, v naught, a naught, where x naught is the point of launch on the x axis, the point of launch on the y axis is y naught, v naught initial velocity, a naught angle of launch, and it'll give you these outputs here, x max, y max, and x of y max. So, projectile motion. We'll do an x naught of 0, y naught of 0, v naught of 30, and 45 for the angle. Bop. So it gives us our x max, our y max, x y max. This answer here is giving us x max as well. So here you can see the plot of the trajectory. And we can go ahead and projectile motion. Uh, we can go ahead and give different values for these things here. Repeats it. New plot. So that's the function. I also made a graphical user interface. So projectile GUI, we'll launch that. So here's my UI figure, and just the same as with the other one. Uh, you can enter the variables and it'll plot it. I put some variables here to start with, so when I was testing it, I wouldn't have to redo it every single time. But as you can see, I can change these values here to whatever I want, and it'll still work. I've never put something bigger than 90 in there. Oh, that's interesting. So it looks like it started 10. Yeah, it went backwards. So I also programmed it so that it would display the values here in these fields for uh, whatever I calculate. So we'll go back and enter new values for all of this. 60 and put that as 20 fire so new projectile new answers clear clears everything and that's my graphical user interface uh thank you for your time and i hope you have a wonderful day